What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another banger video and as you guys can tell I'm actually here in my closet. Um, these are all my shirts right here, but today we're not on shirts, we're on a tackle and this is kind of how I store my tackle as you guys can see. I've got this kind of little like two shelf deal um, and now I've got some little uh, bucket container deals right here and everything. I actually picked this little shelf deal up on the side of the road. Um, a couple of years ago with, while I was driving with uh, my grandma, I believe, and just picked it off off the side of the road. It said free on it, so I obviously took it. And uh, it's worked out pretty, pretty good so far. You know, uh, it, it fits perfectly here in my closet where I store all my tackle pretty much. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be going over all this stuff today. How I store my soft plastics, how I store my crankbaits my day box, my swim baits, which those will probably be a separate video. Um, I just put up a poll on Instagram that uh, you guys can go vote on. If you don't follow me on Instagram, link is down in the description below. But I'm probably going to be doing a separate in-depth video over my swim baits. And so to, in this video, I'm not going to go in-depth on them. I'm just going to show them to you very quickly. But in that video, I'll go into them uh, a little bit more in depth and that kind of thing um, and then we've got my kind of a bigger tackle bag right down here um, and that kind of thing so what you guys don't see is stuff that is right behind me so I'm gonna switch turn around a little bit and uh, you guys can see down here I've got a couple buckets and so I'm gonna start off with this one right here which is where I keep all my Guggen baits and Rage Tail Rage Crawl stuff in. So first of all we've got a whole bunch of Guggen baits right here. We've got the uh, Mondo Worm. I've got all six of them. The Trench Hog. We've got the Slim Shake right here. We've got a couple packs of Kraken Crawls right there. We've got three of them. Um, and then we've got some of the Dragon Drops. We've got two packs of the Bandito Bugs. Because I'm actually giving away one of the packs in an upcoming giveaway. Stay tuned for that. And then we've got another pack of Trench Hogs. But, actually, Academy just got Guggen Baits in my local Academy, the one where I live. It's very close to my house, so stay tuned for some of that stuff, I guess, if I ever run out of baits. But, and then we've got a lot of Rage Tail Baits right here. We've got quite a few of the Rage Menace right here. These are what I use a lot for some of my jig trailers. We've got a pack of the structure bugs, lizards, more menace, menace, and then we've got some of the uh, the rage tail rage crawls right there. So um, I use this bucket a lot, mainly as you guys could see for baits that are in like a hard shell. Um, I might have some other rage tail baits back in back in my other soft plastic stuff, but I like to keep these a little bit separate. Um, because I use these baits a lot more than those other ones. These are, I don't know, a little bit more my favorites. I guess you could say this is like a favorites box, you know, of soft plastic. So, right now I'm going to put these up and then I'm going to get into, actually, I'm just going to go straight into it, my swim baits. These are all my soft plastic swim baits, like the Kytex and that kind of stuff. Um, I only use this one brand, actually, and it's the Eco Pro Tungsten swing shad 4.8 inch um, this is what they look like I've got six packs of them right here right now um, and this is this is what they look like they're very similar to the Kytex swim baits but yet they're like half the price and these swim baits they're actually a little bit more durable um, they're the soft plastic it's like a little bit more it's not as squishy it's a little bit tougher um, and so you can actually uh, like use these. They last a little bit longer. So um, other than that, these that's pretty much how I store everything over here. We've got my swim baits, which I'm very, I'm getting into these swim baits a lot more. I'm throwing these guys a lot, as you guys could tell in my last one of my last videos uh, where I got kicked out of fishing a farm uh, or a uh, golf course pond. And then actually right back over here, right. There, um, I've got some. Let's zoom out. There we go. I've got a couple packs. This is what I'm building on for uh, spawn and bed fishing. So I've got a pack of the white uh, Rage Tail Rage Crawls. 
And then we've got a pack of the uh, white vile bugs. Um, and uh, these are what I'm going to be bed fishing with right now. This is what I'm going to start off with. And then if I ever run, off, run out, obviously I can go buy some more. But uh, these are like baits that I keep separate because a spawn is going to be coming up. So stay tuned for some bed fishing videos, I hope. And then now I'm going to turn around, put all this stuff up that I just got out, and we're going to go into these boxes. All right, guys, so I just finished putting all that stuff up. And uh, now we're going to get into uh, to th these tackle boxes. And this is where I keep all my uh, crankbaits, chatterbaits, frogs, spinnerbaits, everything that is not a soft plastic. Um, I, I do have a couple soft plastic swimbaits in this box, but um, I don't keep any soft plastic crawls or anything um, in the boxes. One, because the boxes get warped and everything, and then you've got... It takes up a lot of space, and it takes up a lot more space than just having, keeping the baits in the bag, pretty much. So, um, obviously, I'll keep the a, a soft plastic swim bait on a chatter bait, but um, other than that, no, not really. Um, actually, I'm going to go into these uh, these little trays right here. First of all, I've got two little boxes right here. These are uh, like flambo boxes, and uh, this one. It says finesse on it and this one says heavy on it and uh, these are for uh, this is like pretty much how I do my terminal tackle so finesse means all my finesse style hooks and everything so I've got some Ned rigs I've got some drop shot stuff like drop shot weights and drop shot hooks and shaky heads and little uh, Nico rig weights I believe um, and so that that's pretty much all my ter my finesse finesse terminal tackle. You know, I'm, I don't throw anything like I don't have super lightweight or super light Texas rig hooks or anything because I don't do that. But um, I'll I'd put it on a shaky head or something. So that's kind of how I store my finesse stuff. And then my heavy just means like normal terminal tap like normal Texas rig stuff. So I've got some Texas rig bullet weights right here. Uh, yeah, there, there's like two different weights, my two main weights, uh, some pegs right here, and then some, uh, I believe all those are like 4 aught VMC hooks. I use all VMC hooks, they're pretty good, um, and then I believe they're all like 4 aughts, I think. Um, so that's a very easy way to just say, hey, I'm going to go flip some grass pads or whatever, and so I'm, I just need to take this. You know, I don't have to take a big, a big box like this thing with a whole bunch of hooks in it, you know. I pick, I know what I need. So, uh, other than that, we'll get in. So this is really how I store my soft plastics. I went to Walmart, they had these little bins right here made by uh, uh, Sterl, Ster, Sterilite, I think. Um, and they, they were like a dollar for these small bins. They've got the big ones that are for like like file holders and these are like smaller ones and they fit your soft plastics perfectly. These these the reason why these are sideways right here is they are uh, they're big trick worms. But normally you can get your bag fit it right in there and it fits absolutely perfectly. So um, really I've got quite a few I've got a pack of the old monster California 420 we got a couple packs of the uh, trick worms right here, white and bubble gum. I've actually got another pack of bubble gum trick worms. We've got some Ketchco finesse worms right there. We've got some striking Ocho Cinco's. We've got more finesse watermelon trick worms. Um, we've got some Zoom Magnum finesse worms. I use a lot of those for Ned Briggs. If you guys watch my video over Ned Rigs. Uh, you get those and you cut them in half and they work perfect for Ned Rigs. Um, and then we've got some of these Lake Fork Trophy Lures uh, Hyper Stick right here. These things are pretty cool. They've, they're like a jointed Cinco almost. And I got these on a very good sale. And so that's why I've got like a couple packs of them. But that's them right there. And they're kind of like jointed right there. I don't know if you guys could see that. Right there, I might still be focusing on my face, but um, yeah, like right here, you've got some joints. So they're they're pretty unique. So I've got watermelon nose, 
and uh, and then some black and blue right there. So um, those are all like my worms. Obviously, you can tell it says wormed right there. A little messy handwriting, you know, but oh well, I can read it. Um, next is crawls. This is pretty hefty, and I don't use these this box much. Um, just because the crawls that I use are either the Guggenbait ones or the Strike King like Rage Crawls or whatever. But I do take some of these out uh, sometimes. Um, so we've got some Excite Baits right here. These are the uh, uh, Hogalicious and Raptor Tail Jr. Those are fairly good. Um, we've got some Rodents from Strike King. We've got quite a few packs of Brush Hogs and the Z Hogs right here. Those are some of my favorite flipping baits. Got more of those. Uh, we've got the Curls Amazing Baits uh, Hoss Curl and Blue Curl. So these are pretty good. I, I'll, I'll cut some of those down and use them for uh, put them on Ned rigs, and they work fairly decent. Brush hogs. We've got some packet chunks. These are what I use on like finesse jigs and stuff like that. Uh, more Z hogs. Some of the uh, MTB or Catch Co. Saw Curl. We got these quite a, quite a bit ago from uh, in a mystery tackle box. Um, we've got the Baiwa War Axe. I used some of these, but I, I don't believe I've caught many fish on them. I believe I've only caught a couple fish on them. They're okay. Um, we've got some Riot Baits. I'm not sure. I don't think these are in the right bag, though. But there's some baits right there. Uh, wild things, VM, uh, flat wild right there, brush hogs. Let's see what else. We've got a couple packs of tubes right here. These are the vicious fishing hooks or vicious fishing tubes. Uh, we've got some Mr. Twister stuff, crawls, and then we've got some Mismo bait tubes. So we've got quite a few stuff in those. Um, and then we've got these, there's two more right over here, and this top one is drop shot. Now, I don't drop shot a whole lot, that's why you can see there's only a couple things in here, but when I do, I've got some of my favorite baits. So, uh, we've got the Shimmer Shad, this is probably my favorite drop shot bait right here. I'll make sure it's focused, there we go. Um, and uh, this is in 4 inch, this is made by Catch Girl. I've got a couple packs of these, and they are great. Uh, they're great drop shot bait fish shad imitations. Um, they're amazing. I love them. They've got a little piece of like foil in there, I believe, and it puts off a really good flash. I've caught quite, I've caught several fish on those. Um, and then we've got the Lunker City Slug Go. Um, I believe these used to be like a classic baits. I just learned that um, even after like I. Uh, uh, did my unboxing with uh, over these when they came in at MTB, but these are some right here. Uh, you can also there's the Big Bite Baits Squirrel Tail Worm. Yeah, these guys right there. Um, there's those, um, and then we've got another pack of the uh, the Shimmer Shad right here that came in at MTB. So um, as you guys can tell, I don't really drop shot a whole lot, but I love the Shimmer Shad. Those those baits work flawlessly. Um, next, we've got swim baits. These are swim baits. These are other swim baits, I guess you could say. Um, so, first of all, we've got these ones. I don't really know what these are, but they, I have them. Um, and then we've got some big bite bait suicide shad. Uh, I actually got these to fish in a trout spot, but I never use them. But there they are, um, and then we've got some more. These are more of the uh, uh, Eco Pro tungsten ones, but this is a uh, smaller size, and there's only one in there. Uh, it's kind of like a bluegill size, bluegill color. Uh, we've got some Bass Pro Shops Sassy Salty. Yeah, they're like little swim baits. I use these a lot for uh, some of my uh, shad chatter baits. They're pretty good. Um, we've got some more soft plastic swim baits that I don't know came from wherever. So, 
We got Gambler Little Easies right here. I used to use these a lot on the back of my uh, uh, Chatterbaits, and then they went. They my local tackle store stopped carrying these, and so I don't really get these a whole lot anymore. Um, and then we've got Mike McClellan swim baits right here from Cabela's. Uh, Bruiser baits, baits right here. I don't know what these are, but they're. I, I actually caught several fish on those with a chider bait. And then we've got the Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper. A classic for you guys. A classic. So, other than that, that's pretty much it about soft plastics. I've got tons of them right down here. As you guys can tell, like, there's tons of soft plastics right here covered up from these bins. So, I'm going to put all these back right up here where they go. And then we're going to get dive into these crankbaits and chatterbaits and spinnerbaits and deep divers and lipless cranks and frogs, topwater, everything you can imagine. Alrighty guys, so getting on to these crankbaits now. This is my day box right here. You guys have seen this, this box quite a bit, I believe. And uh, yeah, this is a lure lock box. No, this is not promoting them or anything, uh, but Comment down below if I, I should uh, make a video over lure boxes and lure lock boxes and my opinion on them. I've, I've got a kind of a love-hate relationship with them. They're great for some things, but also terrible for another. Um, so this is pretty much it. I've got almost a little bit of everything in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit, but uh, this is pretty much the box right here right up here we've got some uh these are this is like my terminal tackle area so i do keep a couple hooks in here we've got some these are like swim bait and shaky heads right here we've got some uh bullet weights i believe over here do we yes bullet weights over here and then just normal hooks right here um i'm gonna go ahead and zoom out because that doesn't look the best um then up here right up here this is like my hard top waters um, and we've got some, uh, some whopper ploppers and, uh, uh, spook. So we've got that covered and then we've got some, we've got quite a few chatterbaits right here. As you can tell, we've got, I'm like overflowing the whites. We've got like four whites right here and then one of the bluegill ones right here. These are all imitator bait, uh, bladen jigs. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Link is down in the description. Um, and then we've got some imitator baits, swim jigs, and uh, baller jigs, and football jigs right down here. Football jigs, swim jigs right here. So we've got all the colors. They look great. Um, and then we've got frogs right here. I keep a couple of each frog. There is popping right here, and then walking right here. So I kind of keep all the bases covered. Um, with with my favorite frogs. So then we've got six, no, seven crankbaits right here. These are uh, actually, yeah, there, we've got some uh, Strike King Red Eye Shads. Those are all the lipless cranks. And then we've got bluegill square bills because I don't use deep divers. Um, so we've got bluegill square bills and shad square bills right there. Shad right there and bluegill right here, and then we've got the lipless right here. So that is pretty much the uh, the day box right there. It's a pretty good box. Um, it's, it's good for hard baits, I'd say. Um, next, we've got swim baits. Like I said, this one I'm not going to go into a whole lot because I believe I'm going to be making a, separate, a whole separate video over my swim bait arsenal and everything, but this is pretty much what I got. We've got some of the, uh, these are the Academy uh, swim baits right here. We've got an S waiver. We've got some Huddlestons right here, small Huddlestons right here. We've got some bigger swim baits. These were my first, this was my first swim bait to actually catch a uh, fish on, like, like a big swim bait that I would say. Uh, to ever catch a fish on, we've got some boom booms right here. We've got boom boom hooks or like just Big hooks in general really uh, we've got two sizes of hooks right here for other the the other uh, uh, kitex swim bait style ones and then we've got a uh, what do you call that mega bass something completely forgot the name of it though I'm sorry um, so 
that's that. Um, let's see. Other than that, we'll go just straight down. This is my uh, my tackle bag right here. I don't keep any tackle in it really, um, but I do keep one more of these crates, and this pretty much holds a lot of line. So I've got all my extra dividers for all my tackle boxes. We've got my scale right here, which is a very good scale if you haven't checked that one out. It's just a Rapala 50 pound scale. It's a really good scale, honestly. And I've got a whole bunch of line in here from fluorocarbon, monofilament to braid. Well, that's the four types, that's the three types of line. So um, we've got all of them in there. It just, just keeps it good, you know. Keeps it right there out of the way. So that's good. Um, moving over to this side right here, we've got three of the waterproof boxes right here. So this one right here with a Fly South sticker on it. This is all my jerk baits right here. I keep them all right here. You guys can see through there a little bit. I don't have too many jerk baits really, so that's why I keep it in this smaller box and it fits them all. Fits them all really well. Um, that's that's them. So my face is still in focus. Wow, this is some good focusing for your face. So that's it. I've got five, it looks like seven jerk baits in there. So I don't really jerk bait fish a whole lot, but it, it, do, it does me good. It does me perfectly fine. So uh, the next box, this is kind of like a multi purpose box. Um, I don't really have anything in here. There's a couple hooks, and that's it. So pretty much what I use this for, this is like a custom day box, I guess you could say. So if I don't want to take this big box with me, or I want to take, or I do take this big box with me, and I need more baits, say I need more chatter baits than the ones that can fit in here, I'll put more in here. And say I need more crank baits, I'll put more crank baits in here. So it kind of adjusts a little bit to what I'm doing. So close that up a little bit there we go um, and then this next one right here is kind of a creek style box uh, I've got a lot of like shaky heads and Ned rigs and then we've got a popper in here some finesse jigs and wacky hooks and yeah so uh, that's pretty much all that's in there we've got some finesse jigs right here um, we've got some little wacky hooks right here these are Ned rigs. These are fake Ned rigs that I cut up. Uh, some little crawls right here, a popper, uh, and then two types of shaky heads. Um, and uh, there's three sixteenth ounce shaky heads and one eighth of an ounce shaky heads. So, um, and my shaky, the bait that I use for those shaky heads are, well, they're they're the Rage Crawl minis. Yes, they're like the smaller version of the Rage Crawls. So, next we've got my crankbaits box. I don't have a whole lot of crankbaits. One, because I don't throw them a whole lot. So, this is pretty much all I got. Um, I've got quite a few square bills. That's my main bait that I use if I throw a crankbait. Square bills and then lipless crankbaits. Um, and then I also have some medium divers from when I, for whenever I go to like a lake and I want us to run some grass. Or grass or uh, weed lines and stuff like that so um, I'm just gonna kind of go through them very quickly we got some shad square bills right here these are all the uh, H2O Express crankbaits that dive to like 10 feet or so 8 10 feet we've got some other crankbaits right here this is just like an assortment of crankbaits we've got like a 5XD in here and then we've also got like a square bill and a swim bait in here so it's it's quite the quite the selection, you know. But then we've got some uh, Strike King 5XDs, 5XDs. Uh, do I have any more 5XDs? No, I don't. Um, we've got some uh, bluegill square bills right here. These are like uh, wiggle warts right here. These are lipless cranks, the lipless crank baits that I have left. Um, I've got quite a few in my day box, um, and then we've got uh, more like shad square bills and medium divers right here and then we've got whoa uh like medium more medium divers i guess you could say like baits that go like eight feet or so so that's kind of my crankbaits box 
don't know if y'all have got a great look at that because there's tons of baits in there, you know, but um, like I said, I don't fish crankbaits a whole lot. Next, well, this used to be called the Lake Box, uh, as you guys can tell right there. But I, not, what I would do with this box is I'd have a whole lot of heavy baits in here, like heavy jigs in here, uh, heavy wobble wobble heads. Is that what they're called? Wobble heads? Yeah, wobble heads in here. No, I feel like that's the wrong name. We're going to call them wobble heads. Um, heavy jigs, heavy wobble heads, uh, a small Alabama rig in here. I had all my uh, Strike King 5XDs in here before I sold like half of them. Um, and now this is like a who cares box, I guess you could say. So we've got a big whopper plopper right here. Uh, this is pretty big. We've got the duck lure. So that is a funky thing. And then we go into deep stuff and we've got some, we've got a heavy football jig right here. Another heavy football jig. These are ones from like whenever I got in a mystery tackle box or stuff like that. We've got some big, thick flipping hooks right here. We've got some one ounce flipping weights right here. Um, I've got two of those and those things are very expensive. Never used them before though. Um, I will be doing it this spring, this spring break though. Um, then we've got a couple wobble heads, a couple of VMC ones. Yeah. And, uh, Stuff like that. I like to fish these a lot around rock. Uh, those things around rock with a crawl can be money. Um, and then we've got like some four aught or five aught hooks right there. So that's that's like a, a that is a very wide range of box items. I guess you could say like there is no connection really between any of those baits honestly um, next we've got all this box all these boxes right here and these are I don't know how to really explain this these are if something gets low in my day box I refill it with this box I guess you could say or if I only if I want to take a lot of chatter baits I get my chatter bait box and I just put it in this bag you know so, uh, I'm going to take a couple of these out at first, and, and then we'll go from there. This box right here has a whole lot of stuff in it. This is almost like a, what is this? This is almost like an extra terminal box, I guess you could say. So, we've got some buzz baits in here. Let me put this up. I don't want to spill anything. Um, so, we've got some buzz baits right here. And then we've got some split rings. You guys can't see them. Um, and then we've got some, these are peg stoppers. We've got five aught hooks right here. Swim bait hooks right here that are like this thing. Like that's the swim bait hook right there. Uh, they're all like that. We've got three aught, one eighth of an ounce swim bait hooks. These are ones that have like a little weight to them right there. We've got trailer hooks, extra trailer hooks right here which are key for spinner baits. And then we've got a couple bags of, we've got one bag of two aught worm hooks and then another couple two aught worm hooks that aren't in a bag. So this is like a, I don't know, sometimes my tackle is a mess. Uh, next we have our spinner baits box. These are obviously all spinner baits right here. These are like spinner baits I use a lot and I just don't feel like putting them in the little keeper and these are all spinner baits too as you can see. Uh, Y'all can see that there's a lot of shad pattern ones that's because spinner baits try to imitate shad so uh, I should have a video coming out about spinner baits if it's not already up. So next we've got some, my jig box quite a few jigs in here um, and uh, yeah, we've got some special colored ones, which I'm not going to show you those a whole lot because they might be coming out here on imit imitator baits fairly soon. Uh, we've got the tomato color from our last, from when we used to be called uh, legendary baits. That was a juicy jig right there. Just look at it. Oh, 
that was a juicy one we've got this one right here this was the natural color with a goon baits uh, crack and crawl on there we've got some finesse jigs right here prototypes we've got a finesse jig from mystery tackle box and we've got an all white jig that I made up this was one of my prototypes actually um, a while ago so and then we've got quite a few black and blue ones right here with one finesse jig that just dropped but we've got some black and blue football jigs and uh, ball head jigs and then we've got one of the bitsy jigs that I did a little challenge with and this I can't freaking grab it there we go we've got that guy right there so we'll put that in front of my face because it seems to just focus on my face the entire time so other than that get into the last two boxes I'm gonna go into this one right here because this is one of my favorite boxes this is the frog box and this is how I store all my frogs right here it just freaking broke no, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Um, this is how I store all my frogs. This is one of the deeper boxes right here. As you guys can tell, I'm just a tad low, but that's okay. Um, so right here in this corner, we have a lot of cheap frogs. These are ones that I got at Walmart. These are like the dollar frogs or ones that came in uh, the, the one that can't. This is the one that came in the Amazon lure like the ten dollar amazon lure challenge kit thing i've got a lot of those cheaper frogs in there we've got a couple of rats right here this is a live target rat right here we've got a couple of rats in there uh, and then this spot right here this is where i keep all my uh live or uh like um what do you call them like the, a live something that imitates a live thing I guess you could say I don't really know but they're like more detailed baits I guess you could say like this is the uh, live target uh, sunfish right there that's a pretty cool bait caught a couple fish on that got this guy right here this is the uh, just a shad frog and we've got the old duck you guys saw the duck you guys like the duck um, so th that's what I keep right there and then this right here these are all actual frogs these are actually all these right here are walking frogs both got walking frogs I normally have popping frogs in here too um, but there's actually only six frogs in here right now but um, I might need to get a couple more so uh, those are pretty much my frog box very simple normally that thing is like pretty full but uh, next my chatter baits this is pretty much the last box um, and this is a my chatter baits are very low very very low I've only got three in here actually right now these are some extra skirts but we've got this one right here which is a z-man one that I put some put a new skirt on right there there's that one let's see if I can get it in the thing this one right here which I traded a friend um, it's kind of like a very unique one you like push the bait up on there and it's or you push the swim bait up on there and it's pretty funky but you know catches fish um, and then we've got a like fire tiger I think or something like that it's like a yellow one right there but my, my chatterbaits are very low but uh I really don't lose too many chatterbaits, and if I do get them hung up, normally I just like pull a little bit, and they they'll come off, and the hook might be bent out a little bit, but you just get some pliers, you know, and bend it back together. So um, other than that, that's pretty much all my tackle. I know this was a very long video. I'm already at 19 minutes for this, just this clip, and I've. Yeah, I've got like three other clips so I know this is a very long video you guys might like it you guys might not like it but um, all you guys wanted the video to be one long video so here you go this is a pretty long video this might be the longest video on my channel so anyways guys thank you all for watching make sure to smash that subscribe button and uh, I've got an awesome giveaway everything is in this Walmart bag right here I'm not going to show you too much we've got Guggenbaits we've got hats we've got imitator baits 
got a whole bunch of good juicy stuff you guys stay tuned thank you guys for watching and uh i'll catch you guys on the next episode of lmb nation peace guys